Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. If you haven't seen me before, my name's Devon and I make videos every Sunday about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, a little bit of everything and anything. Today's video, if you haven't already guessed by the title, is a bit of a high street haul. So we're currently transitioning into spring summer and I just wanted to get a few little new pieces. I had to get a few kind of beauty products anyway. So I went out in the city with my friend and just picked up a few bits. So they're from four stores. To be honest, I haven't got masses. I've probably got 15 or 16 things. Like I said, mixture of fashion and beauty, but I just thought I'd let you see what I bought. Starting off in good old Primark, I picked up uh, basic, really. I picked up the double pack of wipes. These are the um, deep clean, deep cleansing facial wipes. You get two for a pound, so they're 50 wipes. I don't use these on my face. I used to, and then I learned very quickly. I actually was from Caroline Hirons. I no longer use these on my face. I basically use these to like clean my hands, wipe down my makeup brushes, wipe off my makeup, but I just think they're much cheaper to buy them like this. And if you do need to on the go wipe your face really quickly, at least they're designed for that rather than being baby wipes. But yeah, just pick these up to just help me clean up a little bit. I also picked up a workout set, which if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen. So I didn't realise this was kind of a dupe of one of the Gymshark sets. Um, it wasn't until after I bought it I saw the Gymshark post and realised it was a design. Very, very similar. But I got a matching pair of bra and pants. The first thing I picked up was a gym top. So it's really difficult to hold because it's crossed at the back. But as you can see it's just this grey ombre, this marl effect. Dark at the top, light at the bottom. It's got built in pads which I like for support. And I also like the fact the bottom's got like a really thick, stretchy band. The back is just black crisscrossed, so it's black piping throughout. I've worn this, it fits really well. I bought this in a size 10 to 12, and um, it's a little bit baggy on the sides. I probably wouldn't have been better with the size down. I feel like I've done this weird sizing thing now where they do 6 to 8 or 10 to 12. They don't do 8 to 10, which is my size. So I'm kind of either pushing it a bit on the tightness or it's too baggy which is really frustrating um, but yeah really like this I've worn this once it was just for like an Instagram post I didn't end up wearing it to the gym in the end this was five pounds so really like that one that was like a bargain if maybe you can't afford or you don't want to spend the amount of money on Gymshark and then I picked up the matching bottom so these are the same with that grey ombre effect down to the bottom it's got elasticated cuffs, it's got a big thick elasticated waist as well, again very very high waisted up above the belly button which I really like, means when you're squatting you're not going to get any pants or anything else on show. I kind of like the fact that the inside leg seam looks like it's inside out, you've got this just like black seam piping. When I put them on I did have to double check they went inside out but it's like that on the inside too. Just really stretchy material, they're not see-through. Um, I don't know how much these were because I did end up wearing these bottoms and just not the bra. These are in a small, which are again 10 to 12, a little bit baggy around the waist. Um, but I just didn't want to chance it with a 6 to 8. I think these were about 8 or £10 as well. So it was really nice to get a matching set. If you want to see what they look like on, just pop across to my Instagram, which is linked below, and then you can see a picture there. Then we popped into H&M, which is one of my favourite shops. But I haven't been for years because where I used to live there wasn't a H&M nearby. Now I live in the city, H&M just down the road. Amazing but probably deadly for my wallet. So I just picked up a couple t-shirts, a couple basic striped t-shirts. first one I picked up is this striped t-shirt in like this parchment cream colour. Really thin black striping. It's just got like a little scoop neck to the front. Short sleeves which have like a fold up on the side and then it just comes down and it has like a slightly curved hem. Not massively thick, but good enough to sort of throw on if you wanna put it on just a nice day. I'm probably gonna wear this tucked into a pair of trousers. I did get a size up so it can make it look a bit baggier. So I got a small, I don't know what that's equal to in sort of British sizing, but I think it's probably like a 10. I just wanted it to look a little bit baggier if I tucked it into high-waisted jeans and this was 8 dollars 
I also picked up another striped shirt which is a bit brave for me and this is from the Divided Collection, again it's the basics. It's just this bright yellow and white thicker striped top, so it's got a straight bottom, just basic sleeves, basic round neck. Again it's a little bit thinner, it's a little bit thicker than the parchment one but that's probably because of the colouring. Again, I got this in a medium, so I wanted this to be a, a lot baggier because I want to have that baggier feeling. And this was 3 dollars so come on, in Primark you'd at least be paying 4 dollars for this. So H&M is coming through with the affordable fashion. And I just thought it would be a really fun colour to try and wear this this summer. I also picked up a little skater dress. I thought this was really cute, so it's like this dark blue navy white polka dot basic dress, so it's got a v-neck at the front, it's got thinner straps which are adjustable which I really like, nice basic back, nothing too fancy, and then obviously it comes in at the waist, goes out in like an A-line skater, thick enough that you're not going to be seeing underwear through it, I just thought it would look really cute for a summer's day, and this was 8 99 and this is part of the divided basic range as well, so I just thought in the winter, layer this up, in the summer just wear it as it is with some cute sandals. I was just really excited to pick up some more little pieces for my summer wardrobe. And finally probably my favourite piece of this whole haul, this is from the Divided collection as well, it's not the basics. Look at this little play suit, I've fallen in love with this print. So it's like a black play suit with obviously the yellow lemons which is quite, you know, quite in fashion recently. Thin straps, not adjustable though however. I did try it on this store, it looks really nice. It's got like this wrap over v-neck front, which is quite booby. Maybe it's just a bra I was wearing, but it is it is quite revealing. So maybe pop like a little white vest top or a slip underneath if you don't want to go like that. Down into obviously short bottoms, really, really fun, not tight fitting. I got this in an eight and it fits perfectly. I don't know how much this was though, I think it was like £10 again because I have worn it and taken the tag off. But I just thought it was fun to join in with the little lemon themed trend. Staying on my final piece of clothing, and these were bought not with that yellow t-shirt in mind because that would be a bit extreme, but they would go really well with this yellow t-shirt. I picked up some jeans, these are Topshop jeans and now these are Jamie jeans. I've not worn Jamie jeans before, I normally always go with, is it Joni jeans, Johnny jeans? Um, so I thought it would be a little bit different, but they're still high-waisted, nice blue, thick denim, and they are distressed down the front. I really like when distressed jeans have distressing up on the top right thigh, because then a little bit of my tattoo pokes out. I kind of like how that looks, they've obviously got double knee stresses, and a little bit on the top right thigh as well. What I liked about these compared to the Joni jeans is they have proper pockets and belt loops, so they're like proper thick jeans. They're really thick material. They're obviously just like ankle grazes. So these are the Jamie's. I get mine in a um, leg 32 and a waist 28. And these were, how, how much were these? I think they were 46 pounds, which when you pay for this like quality of denim, I'm quite happy with. I really like these. I haven't been able to wear them yet because I've wanted to keep them for this haul, but I just think that striped yellow top tucked in with a little belt is going to look so good. Maybe a pair of white converses, it's just going to be really, really cute. And I'm really wanting to build up sort of that distressed blue denim this year. Now on to like the beauty bits to finish up. Popped into Superdrug, got a few things that I needed to replace, so I just thought I'd show you anyway. I picked up a new setting spray. This is the Revolution Pro Fix Amazing Makeup Fixing Spray. I've used this before, really like it. I do it just before I do my my like eyes and lips, so put on all of the base face makeup, blush, highlight, whatever you're gonna do, pop all, pop all, pop a couple spritzes of this over your face, let it dry for a bit, it just really sets it in and yeah, it's definitely something that I tend to do most days. I picked up a new brow product. This is the Revolution Duo Brow Definer, and I've got mine in medium brown. I haven't been able to use this again because I wanted to use it to show you guys, but it looks like this. And then one side you get your um, brow pencil, so it's like that. You can do individual hair strokes with it because it is so fine. And then on the other side, something I really like, a spoolie, 
just makes it easier just to brush through once you've been doing them. Definitely a really handy gadget to have. Doesn't break the bank, I can't remember how much these were. But a couple quid, just chuck it in your handbag, take it around with you. No more blocky brows. Just picked up another powder. As you know, if you watch my channel often, this is one of my favourites. It's the Rimmel Clear Complexion Powder. It's just a press powder and I get mine in transparent. Again, just good for mattifying the skin, getting rid of that little bit of T-zone tea, shine, basic that I couldn't live without. Picked up a new face scrub. This is the Neutrogena Visibly Clear Spot Stress Control Daily Scrub. I've been really struggling with like facial acne in the last few weeks. I'm not sure what's happening. Well, it's not even acne, it's just lots and lots of little red pimples that go in, come day to day in different places. Definitely a lot more than I've had over the last few years. So I'm just looking for things that are gonna help bust it. I've been trying the Nip and Fab like exfoliating pads. I've been cleansing, I've been spot controlling. So I'm just gonna add another face sort of step into my daily routine. So if anyone's got any like recommendations of anything that they use to get rid of spots, please let me know down below, but I'm gonna see how this baby goes. So that was kind of a little roundup of what I've picked up in Exeter. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already, then subscribe to my channel and push the bell button for notifications. I upload every Sunday at 10 a.m., so definitely come back to check me out then. I think next week I might be doing a wish haul or wish review all the things I've bought off of Wish since I discovered the app. So I thought that would be quite interesting. So definitely come back and check me out and I will see you next time.